Um, let's start with you on this one, Rory, I think. Ian from Sunderland, what's your most embarrassing moment on the cricket pitch? <laughs> oh, Lord. You must uh, have had a few of those. Uh, can you... Oh, God, you should give me time to think. Uh, this, your most embarrassing moment. Geoffrey, uh, what's your most embarrassing moment? Well, Rory thinks of... We've got so many to think about, he can't decide which one it is. Yeah, I was 11, and my best friend, five years older than me, ran me out. First time ever. <laughs> George Hepworth from Ackworth. <laughs> he admits he was pinching the bowl in the dastardly. And you still remember him now? Yeah, and I tell him every time I see him and all, and best friend, you were the first one. You started it all. He was only 11. I was 11, he was about 15, and really? he was counting the balls. He admits he was pinching the ball, in which I never did. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got to your most embarrassing yet, Rory? We're well, still going up the, up the list. It's, it's, this is, this is an sort of odd counterintuitive one, but actually the most embarrassing thing was it was a charity game. It was a Malcolm Marshall charity game at, at the Honourable Artillery Club, and I was bowling to Brian Lara, leg spin, and, and flukishly got him out, and it was the most embarrassing thing because they hadn't come to watch me bowl, had they? No. And I went, yes! So and about 10,000 people went, you dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you? Because <laughs> he was trying to hit me into the sea from London. I mean, so he wasn't, he didn't care. This is a charity game, so, so there was no great shakes. It was no great achievement. But it did turn. Okay. It was yeah, pitched on middle and off, hit middle and leg. But, my, uh, my worst moment was walking out to bat at Chesterfield against Michael Holding. They'd just taken the new ball. And it's, it's, you know how you're in, the, you're in the dentist's waiting room and somehow, the next thing you know, you're, you're somehow transported into this chair. You don't know how you got there. You don't want to get there, but just somehow you are. Well, that's rather like what going out to bat was like for me. And I remember this time walking out and I got halfway and I heard this shout from the top of the pavilion. They said, oh, yeah, good. I thought, oh, that's Peter Willey, our captain. I'm going to ignore it from these parts. You forgot someone, he shouted. I thought, no, no, no. And I heard something land beside me. And he'd launched this toilet roll off the top of the... 